the handler comes online, it can be anywhere from eight to 12 weeks of classes day in, day out to do to get these dogs certified. Craig Heinzelman is the sole canine officer for the Miami Township Police Department. He works with three different canines, including two drug detection dogs, Gator and Seeker. The newest of the group is one-year-old Seeker. He is just certified in heroin, cocaine, meth, and the extracts. Heinzelman says after voters approved a measure to legalize recreational marijuana in Ohio, the department made the decision not to train Seeker to detect the smell of marijuana. We were trying to be more proactive with it. But that created challenges for 12-year-old Gator who is trained to alert marijuana. Heinzelman says it's tough to retrain a dog. There's ways of trying to do it. But, I mean, ultimately, we've taught the dog to search for the marijuana odor, so it's really hard. The department is now finding a new way for Gator to continue to serve inside local schools. He can go into a school and, and not cause any problems with on the road or anything with the marijuana law and the changes in it. We can use them in a school to help our schools keep them drug free. But the loss of a canine is a big hit for departments. Heitzelman estimates the cost of replacing a dog is upwards of $16,000. Lawmakers in Columbus have introduced a bill that would set aside a portion of the revenue from recreational marijuana sales for departments having to replace their canines. Maybe they just put the dog on the road two or three years ago and the dog has a lifespan of seven to eight years of working. And if you take that dog off the road just in that two year time span and then give them another dog, it's just the cost isn't there. Hanselman's hope is that all dogs who will soon have to come off the roads can find other areas to continue working. These are not, you know, dogs every day just go home and sit on the couch. They need to work. They want to do things. They want to be a part of things. In Miami Township, Tyler Madden, Local 12 News. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.